So Rick and I met before Rick and Libby met, and we bonded at the Backcountry Bash in Joseph, Oregon. And one of the bands playing that night was making the motor cars. We've been conniving for probably a year on how to have all of our best friends and have a concert. And then Libby threw a rehearsal dinner in the middle of it, but this is really a concert. I am welcoming Mickey and the motor cars out in front. We want to start tonight by thanking everyone for coming. I know a lot of you came a long way, so thank you for making the trip and, and coming out for Libby and I. This is not a conventional rehearsal dinner. And if you know the Wilson family, they are not conventional. Libby, I want to thank you, especially just for being you. I couldn't be more thankful for everything you've done and everything you are. I'm going to cry. <laughs> So uh, before I cry, let's raise a glass for everyone for being here, uh, joining two families together, incredible music, and uh, tearing up this barn party. Cheers. The most wonderful of all things in life is the discovery of another human being with whom one's relationship has a growing depth, beauty, and joy as the years increase. This inner progressiveness of love between two human beings is a most marvelous thing. It cannot be found by looking for it or by passionately wishing for it. It is a sort of divine accident, and it is the most wonderful of all things in life. Wilson and Gillespie families thank each one of you for coming here today and to share this memorable moment. There are so many memories that encompass so many years. Libby has spent her young life here celebrating family occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, and always Christmas. Born, raised, loved, and now wed. Libby and Rick were intentional on who they've chosen to surround themselves with today to witness their wedding vows as they join together as husband and wife. Each person here has played and will continue to play a significant 
part in their lives. And they are honored to have you here. Rick and Libby have spent many days skiing, hiking, fishing, and falling in love in the Elkhorn Mountains above us, where Rick proposed. You are standing here today to affirm your love, to promise to nurture yourself, each other, and this union. Lib, Libby, Elizabeth, every version of you in different ways I love. Ever since the second time I met you, and the first time you met me, That Thanksgiving, almost four years ago in the ranch house above us, I knew we were gonna have a special and unique relationship. I fell in love with your qualities, your quirks, your positive outlook on life, and of course your laugh. I'll always be on your team, on your side, encouraging and being your biggest fan. You're an unbelievable soul and I cannot wait for all the adventures and activities throughout every season our life has in store. Today we get to celebrate the love that we've grown together as we stand in this beautiful venue with the people we love. I promise to choose you every day, to share happiness and hardships with, to have a family with, to grow with, to love every day for the rest of my life. I vow to never take for granted those big beautiful blue eyes and that incredible magnetism to be endlessly thankful that for the rest of my life, incredibly intelligent, magnetic, charismatic person that you are in every group can now forever be referred to as both the head of morale and my wife. I have found someone who doesn't complete me, but accepts me completely, who has this patience, good nature, and humor, and has been the best thing to happen to me so far in my life. deeply you care for those you love. As one of those you love, I will do my best to return that deep affection. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together, to be your partner in all things. I love you and I can't wait for the rest of your lives. The wedding ring is a timeless emblem of love and commitment. The ring that Libby will receive today has special meaning. The center diamond was her grandmother's, which Molly wore after marrying John. Today, as Libby accepts this ring from Rick, it goes on to its third generation. Don't lose it. As your collective family, we offer you both all our love and support as you start this new chapter of your lives. It is with great pleasure and the power vested in me within the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you man and wife. May I introduce for the first time, Rick and Libby, husband and wife. They make a beautiful couple. Uh, the respect they show each other is incredible at such a young age. They're each other's best friends. The patience, the kindness, everything about it just is, is overwhelming to us. wondered who Rick would end up with. And then Miss Libby Wilson walked into his life. But I never thought this one out of one guy would meet a one out of one gal in his new life. Somehow the nicest guy in the world fell in love with a woman just as authentic and genuine as he is, who reciprocates the way he makes everybody else feel back to him. To him I give this advice. Treat my sister with the patience, love, and respect that she deserves, and you will be treated to a life that is more fulfilling and interesting than you could have ever hoped. To Rick and Libby. 
the greatest moments of my life have been because of you or with you. Libby was always an enthusiast. I mean, she always stepped up to the challenge with everything, and I love you for that. It doesn't matter if it's guys, girls, friends, coworkers, strangers, heck, even my own family. They all want to go out of their way to tell me how great Rick is. He leaves everyone with the impression that they just met a one out of one guy. I just smile and say, wait till you meet Lib. They aren't going to believe it. She's even better. And the two of them together is absolutely spectacular. I love you both so much and can't wait for the next hundred years of happiness. So when Rick and Libby came to Molly and I and, and told us they wanted to get married on the ranch, um, I, I've always had a pet peeve. I've hated destination weddings. I just thought it was crazy. So when they said they wanted to get married on the ranch, I looked at it and my first response was, thank God you don't want to have a destination wedding. <laughs> and uh, Libby looked at me and she rolled her eyes and said, Dad, North Powder, Oregon is a destination for everybody except you. <laughs> So welcome to our destination wedding. Their sense of humor together is wonderful. These guys are gonna be great together. I wanna to raise a toast to the force that they're gonna be locally here, the force that they're gonna be in their lives. To Rick and Libby, who we are very proud of. all you for coming out and helping bring this day together especially everyone here tonight uh, each of you is here because you belong here you have played a significant role in our lives and our day wouldn't be complete without you so let's uh let's raise a glass to the newly founded uh, wilson gillespie family <laughs> of elation A state of mind of which I'll try to re-echo from the start Come on Shout it out and release it from the heart Woo-hoo! 